Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this episode I'm going to teach you about a traditional sport in Iran and its special place known as Zurkhaneh. Historians believe that this sport is the oldest bodybuilding sport that dates back to 1200 years ago when people decided to build their bodies and prepare themselves for a fight. They used mace, bow and shield as their training equipment. This way of training continued until a famous athlete known as Puriya Vali changed it to this new form. Nowadays people still train in the same form. This traditional sport is done by Zarb which is an Iranian percussion instrument. This sport was recorded in the spiritual heritage list of UNESCO organization. In ancient time, sport and combat activity was a daily part of people's lives, and society valued its sportsmen who stuck to the morality principles. Zurkhane is the place designated for training and it has a giant hollow in the ground that Athletes go down there and begin the training procedure. Zurkhane has a door with a small height in order to make people bow down before entering this place. Doors and entrances were created in this way because people believe that Zurkhane was a sacred place and visitors have to bow before entrance. The hollow place was built like a battleground in a way to be lower from the level of the ground. This place has the highest sanctity rank and people respect this place before going down there. The hollow place is built in hexagonal, octagonal and circular forms. This sport is famous for its etiquette and courtesy. There are some traditions ingrained and inspired by legends and mythical heroes' behaviors. These characteristics are made into epic poems and sung by Morshed, a person who plays Zarb instrument. Shia sect followers believe that Zurkhane is the second mosque and whenever they want to perform athlete movements, they seek the permission of Shia's leader. This action is called Rukhsat in the Persian language. In the past, sportsmen were respected and prestigious among citizens because they were hospitable, chivalrous, humble and helped other people destitute people. Each sportsman, based on his experience in this field, has a unique rank. So according to his rank, when he wants to go down the hollow place, Murshed welcomes him with respective traditions. But for those who have the highest ranks, Murshed rings a bell. When the training was finished, a sportsman changed their clothes and go outside also according to their rank. It means the highest rank will leave the place first. Murshed is a kind of singer who plays Zarb as well. Based on traditions, he must be a religious, poet, virtuous, polite, connoisseur of poems, an expert of traditions of this sport and has skills in playing instruments, especially Zarb and euphonious voice. Each sportsman has his own spot in the hollow place. Usually, the person who has the highest rank stands in the middle and other athletes huddled around him. This traditional sport has its own clothes and equipment. These clothes have paisley patterns and 
are called Tonoche in the native language. Sportsmen train with meal, which is training equipment for strengthening the deltoid trapezius and biceps muscles. In ancient times, people used this training to become more skillful and powerful in fighting with mace. Another piece of equipment is Kshabbade, which is used for strengthening the biceps and triceps. In old times, this training was done to prepare soldiers for using bows. We have a special equipment for strengthening the pectoral muscles, and it's called Sang in the Persian language. In the past, this training was used to prepare a fighter for holding a shield on the battlefield. And last but not least, Takhtashana in the native language. This equipment is used for doing traditional push-ups. When a sportsman go down the hollow place, they do some warm-up movements like jumping jack, head rolls, arm circles, and a stretch and running. They swing on one foot to improve their balance. This movement was used in the past to prepare fightsmen for battle with swords. In Zurkhane, they perform some stunts as well, and it looks like juggling.
Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section and if you like please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.